So I'm walking to my Best Buy. I'm gonna try to do that trick with the app that I told you guys about. It's saying on the app that they do have a uh, GPU, um, not available, but it shows up. Um, it's, uh, it's a gigabyte 3080 Ti. So we're gonna take a look, see what happens. Yesterday, I posted a video on a secret method on the Best Buy app that you can find a GPU in stock at MSRP. Today, I tried it myself and you're not gonna believe the results. Remember to check out our video sponsor, CDK Deals. They're running their best deal of the year in November. Use my code CC20 for 35% off. And yes, those Windows 10 CD keys are also going to work on Windows 11. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button if you like content like this. Finding GPUs, little adventures, it's all here. So smash that like button so YouTube is happy. Now, let's talk about today. I did a video yesterday on the secret method, if you will, a little crazy workaround, almost like glimpsing into a, a portal in a video game or something like that, where you can actually find a GPU in stock. Now, generally, only people with micro centers locally to them know the feeling of walking into a store and being able to actually buy a GPU sort of at the same second, at the same moment that you walk in. But alas, a lot of people do not actually have a micro center near them, but there's good news, even more people do have a Best Buy location. Now, unfortunately, I know there are many international viewers. This is not going to work for you unless you just happen to magically have a Best Buy wherever you are. But since it's only in the States, that's not really going to happen. Unfortunately, it's just for the demographic that are living in North America. But if you do have a Best Buy near you, I posted sort of the, the little secret or the little method that you can use in order to find a GPU. I decided to go myself and see if I could actually find one if I would have luck. I heard sort of mixed reports. A lot of people did have a complete uh, you know, success with being able to do this. But there were also some reports that people it was sort of hit and miss. So I'm going to try it myself and see how it would actually work. So basically, this is exactly what I did. So basically, this is what I did. Before I headed off to my local store, and I really do recommend you do this before, I opened up the Best Buy app on my phone, and I simply put in a graphics card for the search. You can probably put in RTX or NVIDIA. Maybe you'll get similar results. Now, at first, it's not going to show you uh, anything when you select the store. You're going to have to hit the little uh, uh, tab that says in stock at whatever store location it is. You gotta hit it once so it's off and then you hit it again so it shows in stock. And now the really tricky thing here is when you actually do that, it's gonna show the GPUs coming up. For example, look at this Best Buy. It has actually an RTX 3080 EVGA GPU and it has an Asus 3080 Ti Strix GPU. Um, it doesn't say in stock. It says sold out. It even says pickup not available. That's the exact same thing that these are saying that it said on the GPU that I tried to get today. So absolutely no way to tell if it's there or not, but it sort of shows up in the system with that store. You'll see if you click on a store that has no GPUs or, or not one that you want, you're going to see that it's not going to populate with whatever GPU is in stock. So Having done that, I saw that that Gigabyte, the 3080 Ti, came up. That was actually the only GPU that came up in this method in my app. Um, and the same thing here. It said not in stock, sold out, store pickup not available. I went into the store, and of course, just to check out, I knew it wasn't going to be in that little display case that they had. I decided to take a look anyway. Here, I would check here first anyway, just to see what they have. Some processors, but no GPUs, it looks like. What about on this side? motherboards they do have a 730 gt 730 we definitely do not want that one though so we're gonna go ask for the SKU number and see if they have something and as you can see it was completely empty the only gpu there was actually a 730 a gt 730 which i don't even think it's considered a gpu anymore it's probably just for the most basic of operations and that really wasn't going to do it now i didn't see any other high-end gpu there they had some processors they had some motherboards uh, best buy um, although they're not anywhere near like what micro center has in terms of enthusiast pc parts they certainly have had a lot more over the years than they 
they used to. Um, they never used to sell motherboards and PC cases and, and even the keyboards and mice, they had a very limited selection. Now it's a pretty wide open selection. I guess they've seen that PC gaming really took off and it's certainly a lucrative market for them. So the next thing that I did after making sure that it was available on my app, I took a screenshot just so I can make note of the SKU number of the GPU. Um, if you go and you ask, oh, do you guys have any graphics cards in stock? They're probably going to say no because most likely they have no idea. So I went up to the Best Buy associate. I gave them the SKU number. They put it in the computer and lo and behold, they said, oh, we do have one in stock. There's only one available. They had to go in the back and get it. It looks like they have one in stock. They're going to go check in the back. Might be the lucky day. And it was actually pretty funny. The other guy that was actually there, um, one of the other associates, he said uh, as soon as she came back with the GPU, and spoiler alert, they did have it. Um, as soon as she, uh, you know, as soon as the Best Buy associate came back with the GPU, um, the other associate said he had no idea they even had these in stock. He obviously knew what the 3080 Ti, uh, TI was. Um, he said they didn't even know that it was there. So uh, most likely, most of the employees have no idea. So even if you ask them, um, they're not going to know. The only thing that was able to reveal that this uh, GPU was actually there was the SKU number. And they said that was the only one available. So sometimes when it shows up um, on the app that the GPU is available, most likely there's really only one. They're getting such limited selections of these GPUs. But anyway, long story short, I checked out. And as you can see me walking through Best Buy with my brand new shiny 3080 Ti, definitely was in stock and I was able to get it. See, lucky day. Here's proof that the app trick works. 3080 Ti. It didn't show up on the website, but I was able to get one. I'm walking through Best Buy now. Look at that. So see, just like the video yesterday. Now, it probably makes sense that they're doing it this way because, as you saw, they only had one available. If they actually announced stock and availability to everybody in the store, more than likely, nobody would really be able to get this GPU. And I guess there's something else, too. They have that uh, total tech package where it's like $200 a year. One of the associates at a separate store did try to upsell me on this package, and he said that I can get GPUs faster and the PlayStation 5 and things like that. And, of course, I didn't sign up for that because I'm not too sure if it really is going to give you some type of priority and i don't really know that i like the idea of having to be subscribed to one of these services that's you know pretty expensive 200 bucks a year it's basically like the price of the the gtx 3080 tier of geforce now that a lot of people thought was expensive this is for the chance to even buy a gpu or get a little bit of priority in line of course if they said that you would get priority and be almost guaranteed a gpu like a founder's edition then it might make sense because as we know the founder edition msrps are still at their original level which is going to be the cheapest you're ever going to find like a 3080 or 3070 so in that sense you are getting a good value for your money if you can get a gpu like that but not at most of these third-party gpus like for example the 3080 ti that i was able to get the gigabyte master that's something that all right i was able to find the gpu and it's a great gaming gpu but remember it is going to be lhr so it has more limited uh, resellability to not only gamers but also crypto miners at any other price basically more more than what this currently is. It's kind of like an anti-scalper type of GPU um, because for the price that they sell it already at MSRP, you're really not gonna get that much more. It's not like buying a Founders Edition. Like if you can get a Founders Edition 3080 from one of the Best Buy drops that are $699, you can see those go on the secondhand market for like, you know, double to triple the price easily. But uh, it's not exactly the case with this GPU. So I don't know if I would pay that $200 fee that I was talking about unless it guaranteed like a Founders Edition or something like that. So now your experience with the GPUs at Best Buy will be a little bit hit or miss. Um, from looking around, the ones that I saw the most, I did see a lot of 3080 Ti. So if you want something like that for gaming, it might be great. You'll be able to get it without that added sort of scalper tax or having to get it on eBay. And of course, if you have like Best Buy rewards, you can get additional, you know, 5% uh, back, which definitely alleviates some of that cost that you're acquiring with the, with the GPU. Um, a lot of them, 3080 Ti's. I saw another store that had that, you know, the, the Asus Strix 3080 Ti. Now that one was definitely a little bit more expensive. I think it was around $400 more than the Gigabyte one. And as much as I, I do like the Asus GPUs, and it's probably a little bit better than this Gigabyte Master, this is still a really cool GPU. It has the little uh, thing on the side. Actually, I have it right here. I'm going to do some testing on it. It has the 
little display here, almost like the Kingpin does. You know, it displays, you know, different things and it displays graphics and things like that. And as you can see, look how thick that this GPU is. It's like a three slot GPU. It's crazy thick, but in a really nicely done like gaming PC, I think this looks really nice. And of course it's a 3080 Ti, so you can't go wrong. Also gonna need three, you know, uh, eight pin power, um, just like the Kingpin or one of the higher end GPUs. Some of the, the, you know, 3080 Ti's don't need as many, but this particular one does. But once again, look at that beefy cooler. Very, very nice. At least it's a pretty decent build quality GPU. Now, I know people do prefer EVGA or some of the other brands for their warranty. Um, Gigabyte warranty can be hit or miss. I guess we're, we're going to see. Hopefully, you never have a problem with this one. But anyway, it does have a four-year warranty, so hopefully it covers, and hopefully they, they will cover if something happens to it. But hopefully nothing will. The 3080 Ti's seem to be a little bit better than the 3090s. We saw a lot of reports of 3090s failing, like um, with Amazon New world and things like that and ironically enough those were with the evga for the win threes that seem to have the most and evga does have great warranty i had a gpu replaced by them without any problem so hopefully with that it's okay but if you're not looking for a 3080 ti the best buys do have other gpus from searching around i did see some like 3060 ti's 3060 3070 3080 basically all of the gpus even a 3090 that actually sold yesterday after my initial video so i wonder if maybe a viewer was able to snatch it up it was uh one of the the gigabyte 3090s that was in one of the best buys i saw it but it was in stock and then today when i went to look it was no longer there um so you're gonna it's gonna be a little hit or miss hard to tell which one will be in stock haven't seen any founders edition at all with this method they all seem to be the third party aibs like evga msi um asus so they're all going to be those type of gpus but you do have a variety depending where you are um, of selections of different best buys as well as the the different cards that may be available in stock all right guys so i hope this tip works for you let me know if you happen to go and pick up a gpu at least you can get it at msrp let me know what happens and remember to subscribe for more videos like this smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video